So in this lesson, we're going to talk uh, real quickly about uh, accrued interest. And we have on May 1st, 2011, Excel Industries issued nine-month notes in the amount of $300 million. Uh, interest is payable at maturity. Determine the amount of interest expenses should be recorded in a year in adjusting entry under each of the following independent, independent assumptions. We have an interest rate of 13% in a fiscal year end of December 31st. Year, the second uh, example is 10% with a fiscal year of October 31st, 9% on June 30th, and 7% on January 31st for our year end. So we're looking at some year end adjusting entries. So our first entry, we're going to have in all cases 300 million, 300. Okay, times our interest rate, which is 13%, so 0.13, times, and then we're going to do this in parentheses, so we're going to have eight months of that fiscal year. Okay, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, eight months, divided by our 12-month year, and that is going to give us a $26 million entry. So we're going to have $26 million dollars. Uh, in the first example of accrued interest. In the second example, we're going to take our same 300 million and we are going to take that times our rate in this case is 10%, so 0 0.10. And then we're going to take that times, that's October 31st year in. So we start with May, June, July, August, September, October, so six months. So this is the real key on this. So it's going to vary. Six divided by 12 months. So we have six months of an interest of a year. And we have $15 million is going to be our interest expense in that example. If on the third example, we have our $300 million. And we're going to take that times our rate, in this case, of 9%. Now we only have in this case two months. So it's going to be 2 divided by 12. Again, this is showing the effect of different fiscal years on, on our interest expense. So we're going to have 4,500,000 in interest expense in that case. And the last case is going to be our 300 million times our rate which was 7% and with a January 31st fiscal year that's going to be a nine months nine months into the process so we have 9 12 oops 9 9 divided by 12 sorry about that and 15.75 million dollars looks like I missed a zero here there there's two zeros here. There we go, man. Actually, I missed three zeros there. Sorry about that. $15,750,000 of interest expense in that example.